Two rolls, Amber. Couldn't have asked any more for yourself from a 45 minute cameo. Um, a third would have been nice. Um, but no, no, I think going in at half time 1 0 down, you know, we really had to reset and get ourselves back into the game. And I think, like, of course, it's great to score two goals, but I think most importantly was that we got ourselves over the line against a really, really tough Zambia team, you know, and I think that we, we really give them the respect they deserve. And I think, you know, they have some really, really top class players in there. And I think they proved, they made it really, really difficult for us. And even at the end, you know, even at 3 1, they looked dangerous. Um, but of course, yeah, it's great that we, we managed to get a win, um, considering so many of our players are in pre season as well. Going in 1 0 down at the break, the, the penalty was so quick after half time, it's probably. You couldn't have dreamed for a quicker start. Yeah, of course. I think that, you know, as a striker, as soon as, you know, you want to get on the ball straight away and you want to get that chance to get, get in front of goal. And I think that, you know, when the penalty went, you know, me and Megan made it, had a wee look. And I'd say when Katie's not there, usually it probably would be Megan that got it, would take it. But Megan gave me a little a smile, so I took that as thank you very much. And to be honest with you, you know, I haven't scored a goal since Scotland. So I'm glad now that we can leave that one behind and we can talk about something else. You took my next question straight out of it. Is, is that, that a relief? And when you scored a second then, you must be thinking, what were you thinking then? Honestly, like I cannot tell you, I feel like the weight of the world came off my shoulders when the ball went into the net. Um, not just obviously for an international perspective, but for a club. You know, the six months have been, as I said to you, the last day, like really, really difficult. And I think now getting back, scoring again, but I'm sorry, I was scoring in Tala in front of that crowd. It's, it's just, I cannot describe it. It's a, such an unbelievable feeling. And, Honestly, every single one of them, we heard them for the full 90 minutes, you know, even when Courtney's making a save, the roar's nearly as loud as when we score, and that's the support you want, and yeah, you look, to score for Ireland, is, it's the best thing you can ever do. A lot of players are probably thinking, it's it's close, this, this close calls have come, two goals today, you've really put yourself in the shop window to make sure that you've given yourself the best opportunity to beat the game, now so that's squad next week. Yeah, of course, but like, I think so did so many other players as well, like, you know, I think Searcy had a very good first half as well, and was a presence up front, and the ball just didn't drop for us and the way it did maybe in the second half and that's just the way football goes sometimes so believe me as, as well as it was good for me to play and obviously to score it doesn't guarantee anything you know there's still a few days to go we still have a couple of training sessions left and I think Vera will be looking for a reaction for all the players as well. The composure you showed for the second goal Amber, that was real just you must have been happy with that the way you reacted to the, the ball wasn't it? Yeah to be honest with you it's I think Grandy's set down was excellent and I think when the ball came like those new Adidas balls are really, really weird. You can either get too much on it, you get too too less on it. So I think I, for all week I got the first time I got it just right. Um, but obviously, you know, their keeper was a wee bit off her line. So it's one of those that thankfully it went in today, but tomorrow, you know, you never know where it will land. What was it like kind of playing against the African kind of side of teams now? Because obviously they're so much more physical as well. Yeah, honestly, I think like, I think any European team going to a major tournament, whether it's a Euros or a World Championships, I think pitting yourself against an African nation is the, probably the best test you'll get. I've never played a team so physical, so athletic. 90 minutes, just go, 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 and just, you know, honestly, it was just, they were just so physical, like putting putting guards on, on their backsides that would never be usually moved, and I think that's such a compliment to them, and like I think when they go to the work, they're going to be a very difficult nation to break down, and a very difficult nation, nobody will want to play them, but also I think it gives us the right test as well going into to Nigeria. We probably are probably a wee bit technically better, but still will provide that physical test that will be uh, will be now relevant.